Hello guys, welcome to SQL Server Tutorial YouTube channel. Today we will learn about SQL Server Pivot Operator. Pivot Operator allows us to aggregate the results and rotate rows into columns. In short, we can say that using Pivot, we can transform the data from row level to columnar data. Here we can see we have a table, employee sales table, which captures the records sales done by employee in an individual date. Here we can see for employee ID 500, we have four records. These are the sales done by employee in individual month. Like in for January, we have two sales recorded by this employee. For February and March, we have one record. So what we want to do here, we want to aggregate the sales done by employee in individual month. I want to display. So here we have two records in January month. So, so we want to aggregate this overall sale for January month. Similarly, if we have multiple sales done by employee in February, we will aggregate those record as well and will display for February month in similar way for other months as we can see for employee 503 we have four records we can say four sales done by this employee but all these sales are related to March month there are no sales recorded by this employee in January and February month and we want to transform this data set or we can say this output into a columnar data like the month sales month would be in columns so to transform like if I modify this select query here you can see this is the select query into month like from sales date if I get months so it would be look like this here you can see there are two records in January month for the employee ID 500 and one record in March so I have done this query like this I have got the sales month and year from the sales date now still this report is incomplete because my requirement is that I want to transform this row wise data here we have a month in row wise I want to transform this data into column data like we would have column for January, February and March month and then the individual sales so I want to transform this data set into like this for 500 I would have a sales in January then for February then March and here you can see for employee ID 503 we have only sales recorded in March month there is no sales recorded in February and January so to transform the row level data into columnar data in this format we use the pivot so let's see how to transform this data into corner data using pivot so here we have a modified query first what I have done here you can see we have a date but our requirement is I want to see the month wise sales recorded by employee so I have done first this sales date into month and year to get the month name and the year now I would use the pivot right here like this select here I will write the column name that I want to display in my pivot table then imply code then here I will pass the pivot values it means columns here we can see here we have a month column and we are displaying month in row wise now here I will write those columns so whatever the column here we have a unique column or unique values for month we will write here because we want to make the column for this so I'm just copying paste right here because I'm taking here his null because if the four employee have not done any sale in January 2020 so it would be replaced with zero so for same employee ID 503 he has not done any sale in January month so for January he would have a zero in similar way for February so we have to write here unique 
month name that we want to display in our column like this and in similar way we will have the last column for for March month so we have to take here a unique column values because here we can see January is two times here January then three times January February is multiple times March is multiple times so these are the row wise data and we want to display it into column so we will take only unique values now we will give a uh, alias value alias name to this column so I'm taking same column values Now from I want these columns in my table and these are the these are the pivot values and these are the columns that I want to display in my result set from these are the modified query here we have transformed the sales rate into month and year let's give it a last name so it basically it, it will become a subquery so giving table then pivot 4 so here I would pass the column name first I will take the aggregation I want to aggregate on sales amount column like I want to aggregate the sales amount values I want to display in this column so for whatever the sales amount value for the January month will be displayed in January column in similar way for February similar way for March 4 here we will pass the column name for month in so it will check these values in individual month like this so it is a simple query if you see that what we have done here these two are column that we will display in our table so it would be a static like employee ID employee code and we have transformed the month columns into which is the row wise data into columnar data so we have transformed the month into like this we have made the multiple columns for month individual columns for month here we have a single column so we have transformed this row level data into columnar data for month this column will remain same like this here you can see and we have applied pivot operator we have aggregated the sales amount for month column where month is this so now it's good this query and here you can see the data is transformed row level data into transformed column data and for you can see if I execute both query simultaneously you will see the difference how the data is transformed into column data let me execute the sub query the modified one here yeah. earlier we had uh, employee data in individual month sales done by employee in individual month so for January we have two sales done by this employee we are not interested in, interested in day sales day we are interested in individual month so but, what was our requirement like to display the sales done by employee in individual month where month should be in columns so whatever the month here we have in row wise we have transformed this month into columnar data and for individual employee we are displaying the sales done by individual month so here you can see for the 
employee ID 500, we have four records in January, February, and March. In January month, the sales number employee is two times. So these sales for January month is aggregated and displayed in January. Sim similar way for February, we have single records. So here you can see only 15,000 for March is 28,000 and for January is two. So it would be a sum of the sales and displayed right here. And you can see for employee ID 503, we have all sales in March month. So we don't have any sales here for January and February. So this is the use of pivot operator to transform the row level data into columnar data based on the requirement. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to the channel for getting the latest video update on SQL Server tutorial. Thanks for watching the video.